so degree of polynomial in two or more variables if any polynomial which is having two or more variables then how to find out the degree for that okay let me write the statement the condition how we need to find out for example if a polynomial involves two or more variables So involves two or more variables, then the sum of the powers the sum of the powers of all the variables. in each term is taken is taken up and the highest sum highest sum so obtained is the degree of the polynomial so this is the condition next to you now okay if you observe degree of the polynomial in two or more variables let me take one example first okay for example 6x cube minus 2x square y so variables are 2 or more plus x square y square minus 3x square y square now if you come to this uh, polynomial there are four terms 1 2 3 4 four terms are there polynomial involves two or more variables then sum of the powers of all variables in each term each term you need to find out the sum of all the variables in first term x cube only three in second term x square 1 x square and y power 1 that means overall 3 because 2 plus 1 in fourth term sum of the powers of all the variables is 4 because x square and y square 2 plus 2 we need to add this both when you come to this x square y square so 4 so highest after taking up the highest sum so obtained is the degree of the polynomial so highest is 4 overall both fours came so here degree is equals to Four. So only thing is we need to add all the powers of all the variables in each term. Then from that we need to find out which is the highest. There's a degree. Now let's see one more example. We need to check whether the polynomial or also not first. Then two x square y cube. minus 3x y square plus 5x cube y cube only three terms are there now if you see the degree x square y cube so it is 5 total x y square x power 1 it is so 3 x cube y cube is total 6 so the degree is equal to 6 after adding the powers then highest one we can take it as the degree and let me explain one more example you can verify it's a polynomial or not also first of all 3ab square minus 4a root b plus 5b cube so in this expression when you come to there are three terms first term a power 1 b power 2 so totals is 3 the third term is b cube so 3 but when you come to here is a power 1 so a power 1 and b power root b means you can write b to the power 1 by 2 because square root is power 1 by 2 so 1 plus 1 by 2 that is 3 by 2 so it's a fraction now that's why anything you are coming so you should not be already explained 
non negative integral powers so expression but is not a polynomial as it contains the term which sum is 3 by 2 is coming so which is not a non negative integer so this is not non negative so this is not a polynomial so it is not polynomial you can't find the degree f for that so anything one more example also is not i'll show you one example here 4xy minus 3xy square plus 3x by y it's containing two or more variables two variables separately but when you come to this polynomial or not it's not because 3x by y we can write it as 3x y to the power minus 1 so it's a not non negative this negative integer is only getting so it's not a polynomial so whenever it is the polynomial for two or more we need to add the powers of each and every term in that highest one only we can take there is a degree for that individual uh, polynomial okay. next when you see one uh, method substitution so whenever the polynomial is given the values are given how to substitute and solve so let me show you a simple example now find the value correct me question find the value this is substitution find the value of m cube plus n cube minus p cube minus 3 m n p so here three variables so it is a polynomial right so highest power is 3 so degree is 3 so find the value of this but when condition is when m is equals to 4 and n is equals to minus 3 and p is equals to 2 so whenever these values are given find the value for this so we need to substitute m is equal to 4 n is equal to minus 3 and p is equal to 2 in the given expression then we can get the value of this that is m cube plus n cube minus p cube minus 3 m n p now when you substitute m value is 4 so in the place of variable that number we need to substitute m is equal to 4 is so a 4 cube plus n value is minus 3 so negative value is coming keep the bracket minus p is equals to 2 cube minus 3 into 3 m n p so in algebra we need to multiply everything all the variables when writing no into symbol no dot symbol also is multiplication okay m n n is minus 3 and p is 2 so we need to simplify this to get the value okay it's a 4 cube is 64 plus minus 3 cube is minus 27 minus 2 cube is 8 and here minus into minus is a plus and 3 4 is a 12 and 12 3 is a 36 2 is a 72 finally now simplify 64 minus 27 minus 8 plus 72 add the positive values 136 64 72 64 is positive 72 is positive add the positive numbers 136 keep minus sign and add the negative numbers 27 38 35 that is 101 one. so this is a value so any term is given just you need to substitute the values and at the asking to find the value you just substitute the values in the same the place of variables and need to simplify to get that one and how to do addition subtractions of uh, multiplication divisions in polynomials also i'll explain you one by one